Hey, hey, happy Monday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. Thanks for joining me in on my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Rachel. I am a wife and a mom and I live in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Um, today was supposed to be a day in the life, um, but let's just be real. It's been a wild day and I am all about being real here on my channel. So basically the new plan for today's video, um, well, it'll be the aftermath of, and probably a part one of a two part video. Um, it'll be, I guess I'll just show you what it is that I got. We have a vacation coming up that we're gonna be leaving on Wednesday. Um, we're heading to the Smoky Mountains with my in-laws, my husband's side of the family it is all gathering together. We've rented a cabin and we're really, really excited about it. I have never been more excited for a vacation. Um, not necessarily because of where we're going, even though I love the Smoky Mountains, I, lo I love the mountains, but more so just because I've been really needing a vacation. And so I'm really excited for this one this year. A lot of prep for this vacation. I ran up to Sam's Club today. I was gonna take you guys along with me for more of like a day in the life, but it just the day just got away from me. I have a little bit of clips um, from just some drive-in. Um, I did stop at a coffee shop to get some coffee beans that I'll show here in a little bit. Um, it's one of my favorite coffee shops in the area um, and they have a really nice mission. Um, so I'll show that. I'm gonna take you into a haul, show you a little bit about what I've got laid out. Um, but this will be a two part video. I'll show what I've got, my plans um, for the trip and just kind of what that looks like. And then the second part, which will be next week's video, um, will be a little bit more of a pack with me and maybe a little chatty, um, but let's get going with today's video. And if you're new here, thanks so much. If you're a long time friend, Thanks so much for supporting me on this journey of mine with YouTube. Um, it means so much to me. So let's go, come on. So let's dive in to what I got for our trip. Um, keep in mind there are six children and there are going to be eight adults. So this is it, um, at least as far as the snacks go, keeping in mind the kids. Also, uh, my husband and I with our son travels down there. Um, but I did pick up some popcorn for us to enjoy while in the cabin. This is the coffee that I was talking about. Um, so I go to a shop in, it's backwards. No, it's not. Um, I go to a shop in, um, Suffolk, Virginia. This is, I can't say that I've ever tried this particular coffee, but I am interested in trying it. Um, it is a bean, so I'll have to grind it myself, but, um, I'm really excited about it. I'm a huge hazelnut fan in my coffee, so I'm interested to see how this one tastes. Um, it's, of course, not the one that I showed last time, but I do like to support um, local businesses, especially coffee shops. So the one that I like to um, visit, I'll insert clips here, but it's called Gather, and basically their proceeds go to the community and all that kind of stuff. So I like to support them when I can. First of all, they have really good coffee. Second of all, um, they also sell some beans and some merchandise as well. So I did pick that up. Um, I'm also going to, and I'll probably share this in next week's video, um, I am going to be making Samuel some Lunchables. I have these little trays. So I did pick up some grapes and an apple. I'll incorporate them in there. For our trip and for all the kiddos, I picked up some gummies because those are just quick and easy. These right here are more so for me. I love these cookies. I only obviously can get them this time of year. So I pick up probably like one or two through the season and I just snack on them. But these would be nice to have for a sweet tooth in the car. Um, these are also for all the kiddos. Um, some applesauce. And of course, it's a 12 pouch. Um, so 
I mean, maybe it won't stretch very far, but we can always stop at the grocery store by if we need to. My husband is a huge Dr. Pepper fan, so I picked up this. This is for him. Um, I have Diet Mountain Dew for everybody else in the family. Um, well, besides myself, I have something else for myself as well, but he is doesn't drink diet, so but he will drink um, Dr. Pepper. Um, these turkey pepperonis, they're not as greasy, so I always get turkey. Um, these are for Samuel's Lunchables, as well as um, I'll do ham and stuff like that too. These, again, I've talked about these. I did get them at Walmart this time around. They cost a little bit more, but oh gosh, these are just my favorite. Um, some Oreos. I picked up some yogurts, um, some Go-Go Squeeze yogurts for the kiddos. Some M&Ms for the kiddos. These are Samuel's favorite um, gr uh, granola bars, energy snack bars, whatever. Um, I think in one of my previous hauls, um, I had shown some of these store brand ones. I don't even remember what store it was. Was it Kroger? Might have been Kroger. I don't know. I guess it was the packaging. Sam just couldn't get past it. So we're back to these Z bars. He loves them. He'll eat them, but he will not eat the other ones. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Kids are weird. Um, I picked up some Pringles for my husband and I to snack on in the car if we want to. I'm also going to be making some slider rolls. I'll probably share those also. Um, so with these rolls, I'm going to make some sliders, cut them in half, put them back in here, and my husband and I will eat on those. We do not plan to stop at a um, fast food place, so we're just going to have these for the road. It is like an eight-hour drive for us. Um, additionally, for the kiddos, I picked up these Apple and Eve um, juices. I normally get the Honest brand, but Samuel really wanted these. I don't, I don't know why, but he did, so I don't mind. It's like a dollar, dollar savings. Um, for those sliders, I just picked up some Duke mayonnaise because we don't have any more in the house. Um, I got some ham and turkey, so I'm just going to do uh, both on the sandwiches and then some American cheese. Keep it real simple and easy. Um, and again, I'll probably show that a little bit on my next video. Um, getting some muffins for the kiddos and then this 50 assorted mix of chips for everybody, basically. Whoever wants a snack when we're hanging out at the cabin, we've got some to just grab. Um, these are for myself. They're for the road. Um, and then of course, whatever's left over, I'll have for in the cabin as well, since I'm not much of a soda drinker. And then down here, I have a big 30 K 30, down here, I have a big case of 36 Diet Mountain Dews. This is for, for everybody else in the family. Um, but that is it. Okay, so now we're taking a look at um, other things for our trip. I did draft up a list um, for myself of what to pack. Um, and this will just help me as I begin to pack everything up. Um, but I did make a list of things to pick up for the cabin, for the kitchen, also some extra stuff along the way um so we'll just take a look at that stuff real quick so for some kitchen stuff i did pick up some extra trash bags um some ziploc bags because i feel like sometimes you just need them and so it's be, it'll just be nice to have them um also i did pick up some basically like takeout boxes um i just picked these all three of these i think up a dollar tree um, just to have, just in case there's leftovers, because we do plan on eating dinners at the cabin. Um, so I did pick those up. Um, my son is potty trained, but these are just helpful, you know, toddler moms. Um, so those would just be nice for him. I did pick up this um, first aid kit at Target. Um, it'll just be nice to have just in case one of the kiddos get hurt or um, need a Band-Aid, whatever. Um, also for the cabin, there is a washer and dryer, so I did pick up some Tide Pods. Um, I don't personally use Tide Pods a lot. I just don't like them. I think they're expensive, but for traveling, these are really nice to have. Um, I already had some of these. Um, I got them from my grandfather. He had a whole slew of them, so my mom brought me some back. But this is dishwasher cleaner. I'm just going to throw it in the dishwasher so that way I can just clean the dishwasher when we're there. And then for our time there, because um, I think we'll be there uh, four nights, maybe five nights. Anyway, I did pick up some Cascade 
uh, dishwashing pod so that we don't we aren't sitting there scrubbing dishes on our vacation the whole time. Um, I picked up some Reynolds wrap because you never know if you'll need it. And then I already had this press and seal, so I just am going to bring what I already have. Um, also for the kiddos are these Buggables mosquito repellent bands. That way they can just wear them. Um, I, I tried to look to see if there was a, um, not like an expiration, but like after how many hours do they wear out? And I just, I cannot find where it says anything about them. So I did get one per kid. I know that there's a day where we were going to go hiking, um, but basically anytime that we're outside at the cabin or whatever, the kiddos can just slip this on. We don't have to worry about spraying them down and hopefully they don't go home with a whole bunch of um, bug bites. I picked up some sunscreen just in case that's needed, some disinfectant wipes just for a quick cleanup. Um, these are my vitamins. I went ahead and um, separated them for the week while we are there, um, and some crayons and coloring books for the kiddos. Um, again, there's six kids. Um, one of them's a baby, so really only five kids that would be coloring, but I only picked up three coloring books. I think my mother-in-law also picked up some, and then two things of crayons the kids can share. Um, I'm not too, too worried about that. It's also my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, and actually the day that I'm filming this is her actual birthday, but we're going to be celebrating it as a family. So I did pick up some candles for her and like just the banner just to make her feel special since that's the whole reason we're having this trip, um, obviously for family, but also just to celebrate her and everything that she means to us for Samuel, for the car. Um, I am putting together a, um, pack and I will show this more, um, when in my next video but if you know you know right so like toddlers they're stuck in those seats and they can't get to anything so i did buy this off of amazon i'll link it down below um but it's it's a cooler down here but also it's got this lid so he can like set stuff on because you know his car seat whatever this will be in between the two seats because we do have bucket seats in our car and so this will nestle down but it will sit on top of the um, cup holders, so it'd be nice to have the extra cup holders. But basically, I want to fill this with things that are specifically for him to play with while we are in the car for as long as we're going to be in the car. So I picked up a few things. He likes Peppa Pig. Um, so I just picked up one of these Imagine Inks. I think that this, I got this at the Target Dollar section. Um, at Joann's, they had this Tangrams magnetic set. So I picked this up. I thought it'd be nice to keep in the car. He already had this Melissa and Doug um, sticker book, so he can have that. These are pretty cool. So these are Crayola um, window markers. I tested them, which is why I don't have the cover on them anymore. But basically, you can color on the window, and then you just wipe it off with, like, Windex. And so I did pick this up because... I just think that'd be really fun for him to do. It'll keep him busy. Um, I'm just trying to think, like, if I was three years old and I was trapped in the car for eight hours and stuck in my car seat at that, what can entertain him? Um, so I did pick up some of those. We can also probably play with these, have all the kids play with it in the cabin as well. Of course, this is um, one of those Crayola mess-free coloring um what are they called? The Color Wonders. So it's just pages. It's the little case and then four markers. I could probably pull, he has a whole bin full of these that I could probably put other colors in here as well. Um, and then I also found this as well. Um, this is another Ollie's find. It's just a coloring book, but it's this lap case, um, which is really what I bought it for was the case itself but it's nice he really likes cars so this would be fun for him to color but it'll be something that he can set on his lap um and put you know food and whatever 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 he needs it for um but that'll just be nice so that is it for the the haul of stuff um you'll see i have pull-ups too but these are for the car like i said he is fully potty trained um but these are like our last three pull-ups, even in the evening, or not just, even at night, he doesn't need pull-ups anymore. Um, he wakes up in the middle of the night and uses the bathroom, which is fantastic. Um, but I do want to put these in, and we have three days worth of traveling, so it's two days there. We're going to split up our trip, and one day on the way back. Um, but I am going to 
um, have him in pull-ups just in case we're driving and we're nowhere near a place to stop. Then for me, I do want to read on this trip. I can't say that I'm much of a reader, but I do love this book. Highly recommend it if you are a mama. And um, it's just, it's got such good information in it. So I would like to get back into this book. It's been a while since I read it. I'm also reading... It's not supposed to be this way. Sorry, I took off the cover um, by Lisa Turkers. That's another really good one. I don't, I don't know what's on that. Sorry, excuse me. And this right here is my um, study notebook. It's just full of notes that I've taken through the years. I'm really close to having it finished, so I am going to take that with me. I write prayers in it um, when I feel like, you know, God's put something on my heart. Whatever it is, I write in there. Um, and I do plan on grabbing my Bible as well, um, but I have not yet grabbed that. Um, but that is it for all of that. Um, taking you on a little journey over here. <laughs> um, I did pick up this here. This is from Aldi. This I plan to put between our seats, between the front seats and the seats that Samuel's on. So I feel like I'm overdoing it with all these storage pieces but I just want to be organized on this trip it is a cooler and it also has this portion here so I plan on putting like our drinks and stuff in the cooler and then I know that's so profound but having drinks and cooled stuff in there and then snacks in this other portion and that way it's all nicely well organized again I'll show that in a future video um, coming up and then of course I already showed this but this this here I think will be a lifesaver and I plan on putting all the Samuel stuff in there. So I can't wait to pack that up. Also in addition on this family trip is Christmas. Um, we're going to do family Christmas while we're there because my um, husband's family, hit two of his siblings um, live in Alabama. So I do have some stuff for the kiddos. I don't want to show too much because I don't know <laughs> if they watch our, my videos. So that is for the kiddos. I'm going to have to wrap all that up um, before we go. But that is it for everything that I had for the cabin in the car.
Okay, so as random as this video is, let's just add more random to it. Um, I've showed you some stuff for our vacation, my haul and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then next week's video, I will show you, um, you know, what I pack. Honestly, I'll probably have to record it this weekend. Probably the Monday that this uploads, I'll showcase that. But um, I do want to show you some thrifted finds that I found. I Honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do for this week's video. I still don't even know how long this video is going to be, so it was really short. I apologize. Hopefully next week's video is more exciting. Um, be more, it'll be more of a pack with me. Um, it may be a little chatty. It may just be a bunch of... Um, it may just be a bunch of um, music, whatever, and I, you know, talk over whatever, but I'll talk through my process and what I'm thinking. I did show my list just a little bit ago. I did really think through this trip and what all we will need in our cabin. It does have some amenities. It's a beautiful cabin. Um, I can even link the cabin if you really are interested in where we're going to be. Um, but I, I really thought this through and what exactly that would be needed, not just for our family, like my husband, my son and I, and what we would need, but in addition, what everybody else may need as far as like snacks, stuff like that. Um, I really thought this through, I planned out this trip. I'm very excited for it. Um, we're gonna do some things that as a whole family, we haven't done before, but all that aside, um, I, I think I mentioned this earlier in my intro, this was supposed to be a um, day in the life with me and get it all done and all the things. And now it's six o'clock um, and today just did not go how I thought it would be. Um, it just, it is what it is. It's fine. Life is life. Um, and I know that you will show me some grace if this video is just all over the place. Um, I'm going to show you some thrifted items that I found. It's mostly clothes this time. I don't think I actually got anything that wasn't clothing related. Um, I did go with a friend of mine, I think last weekend. Oh my word, life just runs together at this point. But last weekend, um, and then I also went on my own, I think on Thursday, I don't know. One of these days this week, again, they're all running together. But I ran to the thrift store. I also did some consigning, so I'll show that as well. And then I also, I love shopping on Poshmark. I love shopping on Poshmark because it, um, I can hone in on what brands I really like and I'm very, I've kind of become kind of brand specific in my years. So, um, I, but I also very thrifty and I don't like to spend a lot of money on my clothing. So starting out is this top here. Um, I thrifted this with my friend last weekend. Um, and let me back up and excuse the mess behind me. Um, it is this here. It is super super cute it's really long so i'll untuck it um but i did just tuck it in because it's long it's kind of oversized but i think it's real real cute it's a beautiful color let's see if i can it's a beautiful color um it's great for the fall um but i also found some really other great pieces so let me show you this as well okay so i do not think it is a thrift trip without and I apologize that the lighting is a little weird. Like I said, it's six o'clock at night. I can tell by the windows it's starting to get a little dust, so I'm using my overhead light. Um, but it is not a thrift haul without something for Samuel. So I am collecting for the next size. His next size is a five. Um, and when I find church clothes for him, I pick them up because I am kind of picky about his church clothes. Um, and I get bored <laughs> with what he's going to wear. So I did pick this up. Um, it is a cute button up. It is a cute button up. Um, and it's polka dotted. It's a Nautica brand. It was a four piece set, but I couldn't find the other pieces. Um, actually that's a lie. I think I found the pants, but because there was no like vest or jacket or anything with it, I did not end up picking up the other pieces, but I did pick up this shirt because I think it's really, really cute. Um, it's a classic. Um, so this would be really nice to wear with, I don't know, some kind of pants. Next up for Samuel are these um, pinstripe seersucker pants. Um, they are the Janie and Jack brand. Um, and 
I love Janie and Jack. I just don't spend Janie and Jack money. Normally, I'll be honest, I shop on Poshmark for Samuel's um, Janie and Jack pieces. So when I saw this at the thrift store, I did go ahead and pick it up. Um, and, and I went to Goodwill when I found these. So they do like a two for, I don't know, like a dollar or something. So these two items were like a dollar a piece. No, they were a dollar for the two. So I picked these up. Um, and I was really excited to find these. Next, in addition to this shirt and in this color on the, okay, so I found this last weekend. But in addition to this shirt, I did find this dress and I found this, I think it was Thursday was the day that I ended up going shopping. But it's so similar. I don't know, this must be my color palette, florals and turquoise, I don't know. Um, but it is beautiful. It is a floor length dress, which you can't see, um, but it is really long. It is nice. It's, it's tiered. Um, and I just think it's so beautiful. It looks so cozy. It'd be really cute with some boots underneath. Um, for right now, for this time of year, I'll probably wear it on our vacation coming up. Um, but just wearing some like sandals with it, it's just, it's just beautiful. Um, but in addition to that, I needed to find a shirt. So today I stopped in a clothes mentor um, in my area. I had to drive over there to drop my son off um, with my husband. And I stopped in there just on a whim. One, I wanted to see if they would buy anything. Um, if you have a clothes mentor and you're getting rid of stuff, before you post stuff on Poshmark, pop it in there. Um, just see if they'll buy anything. It's just a quick way to have turnaround plus cash. And then if you get cash, you can spend it in the store. You know, just a small little plug there. But I did find this mock uh, turtleneck. Um, it's by the brand Time and Honey, which I can't say I've ever heard of, but I paid $8.99 for it. Um, it still has the tag on it and everything, um, but it is beautiful. It is this, um, it is this mustard rib striped shirt, um, and I just think it'd be really, really cute with that dress that I just showed a little bit ago. So I am very, very excited about this finding. Also at the consignment, I found this um, Live Los Angeles shirt. I got it for $10.99. It is this beautiful white blouse. Um, I don't know what you would call this. It's like, I don't know, it's raised as pom poms. I don't know, but it also has this eyelet on the shoulder with this really beautiful ruffle. I'll probably honestly wear this to church tomorrow. Um, but I'm really excited about this one. It also has the eyelets down at the bottom. I think it's just a beautiful blouse. Um, lately, I've just been really into just white. Um, or at least I navigate more towards white when I'm at the thrift store. It's like if I could find a good white shirt, I tend to buy it. Um, so I did pick this up and I'm very excited for this one as well. All right, back to the thrift store on Thursday of this past week. I picked up this blue and white um, sweater. Um, I probably paid $5.99. I feel like the Goodwill prices on sweaters is like about that price. It is a CNC California. Um, I have no idea about that brand. I see it frequently, but I have no idea where you buy it. I don't know if it's boutique or whatever. Um, but I did try it on. It fits kind of oversized, which I think is gonna be really cute. Like throw it over to up of throw it over top of a you know just a dress or whatever for a cute little casual look so I'm excited to style this one this might be another one that I just pack um in my suitcase for our trip for when it gets cooler in the evenings if we go out um to walk downtown Gatlinburg or something so this was a good find okay now into Plato's closet again I know I mentioned clothes mentor selling stuff there if you don't sell anything there, you can drive over to Plato's Closet, see if they'll buy anything. Um, there's also another one in our area, cause another one in our area called uh, Style Encore popped in there as well. I didn't buy anything there. Um, but at uh, Plato's Closet, I picked up this. It is like, I guess you could call it like a shawl. Um, I am still on the hunt for the perfect dress to wear this over, um, but it is a beautiful, yellow linen, um, yellow floral linen top. 
Um, it is by the brand Happy Nature. Again, I don't know anything about it, but it is, I believe, yeah, it's a linen blend. So it's really beautiful. I did try it on. I did think I could pair it with one of the dresses that I already have, um, but it's buttoned down all the way down and I just didn't think it looked really good. So I am on the hunt for the perfect uh, like little spaghetti strap dress just to wear this over. I think it'd be really cute to wear this fall. Um, I'm thinking like probably this tail color because apparently that's gonna be my color this fall. But I just think this is really beautiful and I was really excited when I found it. And last but not least um, is this dress here. This dress is a Ruli dress. And Ruli is one of my favorite brands. So when I said that I am particular about my brands, which is why I shop on Poshmark, Ruli is one of those Poshmark brands for me. Um, so I picked this one up because I just wanted another just throw on dress, one that's casual, but also could be really, really cute. Um, I have quite a few of them, but I feel like they can never have enough dresses. Um, so I did pick this one up. I think I paid like 15 bucks for it, which is a great price for Ruli dresses. Um, usually when I find them and I really like them and they're priced really well, I go ahead and buy them just because... I love their brand. I love their quality of their clothing. Um, and so I picked this one up. I'm really excited about it. I think it's beautiful. It's fall colors, but it's also kind of linen-y so I could wear it in the um, springtime as well. It's got pinks and burnt oranges and orange. So I think it's really beautiful. Um, but that was it. That's all that I found at the thrift store and the consignment shops um, this time around. I know it's so random. This is such a random video and I have no idea what we're going to do next. Um, probably put some stuff away. Um, let's find out. Let's find out what we're going to do. I'm even from tomorrow. I don't know. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Thank you for showing Grace this video. I understand if you get to like, you know, five seconds and you're like, bye. Um, I totally understand. If you are still watching, Put a little comment down below. Just say hey. Um, thanks so much for being here with me um, on this crazy journey and how weird I am. <laughs> Especially this video. I feel like this is my first one ever. That's kind of how I feel. I feel a little crazy. Um, <laughs> put a little comment down below. Just saying hey. Um, let me know you're still watching. Um, but let's go find out what else we're going to do. Good morning. Um, it is Sunday morning, but I did want to do a quick outfit check for you. Um, this is the dress and the, um, this is the dress and the top that I picked up from the thrift store and from the consignment shop. Um, and I just paired them together. So here you can take a look at what that looks like. Um, and then I have these Dansko, um, clogs that I purchased I believe on Poshmark quite a few years ago um but that's it that's what I plan on wearing to church this morning really comfortable really casual um it's really comfortable um we also have plans to go over to a friend's house after church so I wanted to be comfortable um and this is really flowy so I just think it's real cute it's definitely a really good fall outfit um with all the colors and stuff like that so Okay, and as I mentioned, we're headed over to friend's house after church, um, but I wanted to throw together a quick crock pot meal. Excuse my dented crock pot. I have no idea why it looks like that. Um, but we've kind of made a tradition on Sundays to go to one another's houses and make a crock pot meal, and we just eat that, and we watch the latest 90 Day Fiance. Um, anyway, so I wanted to share this one. This is one that I found on Pinterest, but it was a TikTok recipe. So basically it's just chicken and um, just a quick hack for any of you that crock pot. You don't have to thaw your chicken. If you put it in frozen, it actually keeps the chicken really tender. Um, or not tender. I don't know, really soft, easy to shred. I don't know, moist, I guess is the word. Not everybody likes that word, but um, it does. It's really, it's really nice. I much prefer to put it in frozen. Um, I have some Parmesan. The recipe itself had uh, shredded, but I didn't have shredded, but I do have grated. Um, and you use what you got. Um, heavy whipping cream, 
the they called for the buffalo wild wing parmesan garlic wing sauce but they didn't have any at my walmart so i just picked up the walmart's equivalent um and then some noodles of your choice i have spaghetti noodles that i'm going to use and then a block of cream cheese um and i'll show real quickly how i make this um, this one's a really easy crock pot meal. Um, like I said previously, I'll link it down below um, just for anybody who wants a better look at how to make this. Um, but essentially, I just put the crock pot liner in there and then the chicken down at the bottom and just kind of just dump everything in there. Um, I meant to take some clips of what uh, this looks like after it's all done. Um, after the chicken's done cooking, you just boil up your spaghetti noodles and then uh, shred your chicken and put the noodles in with it and kind of mixed it all together. It was really, really good. Um, it had a nice uh, kind of spice to it, which was really, really good. Um, it was a good alternative to another one that we had previously, which is like the Italian oven chicken. Um, but yeah, it was a really good one. I would highly suggest it, especially for a quick dump and go kind of meal. But Unfortunately, I did not close out this video, so this is going to be the last clip for today's video. Um, if you haven't already, please like, uh, subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Um, and just comment. Let me know that you're here and what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks so much for coming along with me on my YouTube journey. I appreciate you guys so much. And stay tuned for next week's video um, where I'll be packing up for our trip. Catch you guys next time. Thank you.